Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm gonna do three rings, three ring wreaths. I got this wreath from the Dollar Tree a long time ago before quarantine and COVID-19 hit, which is awful because I haven't been there in like two months. So I'm just using what I have on hand and this is what I had and I wanted to make some ring wreaths or hoop wreaths. Yeah, hoop wreaths. So this is what I did. Getting the first one apart was easy. It broke, but that's okay because I'm gonna need it to be apart later anyway, but getting the rest of them apart was hard. I wasn't able to do it, so I had to get my husband to do it. As you can see, after I got that one off, I thought about attaching it back together. And I was like, well, I'll do something different with it. So then I try to take off all these other pieces and they weren't as easy to take off as the first one was. Oh, what the problem was, but so yeah, I'm just, I'm just, yeah. <laughs> And I wanted to spray paint on, but it was too humid outside, and it was nighttime whenever I did this craft, so I had to brush paint it with chalk paint. Ah, oh, well, you do what you do, whatever you can do to get the job done. I started putting these beads on their wooden beads. I actually got them from Hobby Lobby, but Dollar Tree does have some. And since I'm painting them, it really doesn't matter where you get them from because you just need beads to go on and you're going to paint them, so it doesn't matter what they look like before. Because these, I kind of think they're ugly, which is the reason why I painted them. But they were like a dollar fifty, I think, at Hobby Lobby for a big pack of them, so that's why. I ended up putting like three coats on these. They're very hard to paint. I'm not gonna say it was easy because it's difficult, <laughs> but it was a lot easier having them on the reed, painting them this way than it was to try to paint them off the reed. So that's why I did them the way I did.
then as you can see here, I just took the sunflower, which came from the Dollar Tree, and some greenery, which that came from Walmart. Uh, I have a chance to go to the Dollar Tree, so I was using what I had on hand, and I just placed those around the way I liked them, and hot glued them down until I thought that it looked pretty. For the next hoop, I took this lace material. I don't remember where I got it. I think I got it from Walmart. I don't know. I thought it was pretty though, so I was going to cut it in strips. So I cut long pieces and then I folded all of them together so it would be easier to cut. I just sliced it up in little sections. And then I put them on the bottom part. After I did that, I decided to go ahead and wrap the hoop too, so that it just had that lace look all around. I thought it was pretty, so I went ahead and did that, and it turned out looking pretty good. Then I thought it looked a little plain, so I went ahead and made a little bow with some material I already had here, some buffalo chick, and stuck a flower on it. Then for the last hoop, I just put uh, some flower on it. I didn't do anything else to it, just put it on there. And to get those on there, I flip them all over like this, and just laid the hot glue to it because that's the only way I could get it stick, hurt my finger, I about stuck my finger to it, but got the job done. Here we go. They turned out looking like this, which is, I loved them. Mm -hmm. 